at the Barrett Jackson and we need to find some healthier options for eating because I don't want to ruin my diet today. I definitely would keep walking. We okay. gotta walk past all the sweet stuff because that's definitely gonna ruin your diet. The funnel cakes are delicious, but not on point with what we need. Okay, so I'd even say street tacos might be a little healthier than anything I've seen so far. Okay. Sometimes people think that popcorn is good for you, but when you're getting that sweet and salty, you're still getting all that sugar, and we don't know if there's high fructose corn syrup in it or not. So we have to be careful with all the options that we look at. Okay. I'd say sample sizes are okay, yeah. but that's not going <laughs> to fill you one up. One little sample? Yeah. No, I definitely need more food than that. The so. soba noodles, I mean, Probably. walk fired, it's not bad, but once again, you're getting it a little fried and then it's a noodle. Right. So if we keep walking, I bet we'll find some protein options. So basically try and avoid anything that's getting deep fried, obviously. For sure, and, avoid that. Uh, anything that has maybe some batter or any white foods, I would think. Yeah, yeah. And we want to be careful with any of the sweet stuff because we don't know what kind of ingredients they use and they can definitely be using that high fructose corn syrup, okay. which I talk a lot about because it's in almost everything and it's not good for us. Okay. Even though loaded fries, those sound good. <laughs> We're not gonna go there. So I know that they do barbecue foods like over there. What do you think about that? The barbecues might be a little bit better option okay. because it is more of the proteins we're looking for. Okay. But then again, we don't know how sweet the, um, some of those sauces are that they're gonna right. be in. I'd really leg. say sometimes you could do a turkey leg. <laughs> yeah. And it's all protein once you get past the skin if you want to not eat the skin because that's where most of the fat is at. How much fat, like grams of fat, do you think would be in a turkey leg like that? I don't do you know. Have any, yeah. We should look it up. We I'd should. probably say at least 40 grams. Yeah. In that um, Vienna sausage, there was 32 grams of fat in it and 1,500 over 1500 milligrams of sodium. And sodium is one of those hidden things because salt makes our food taste better. But you have to be careful because it's in everything. It's even in our condiments that we use, especially in mustard. Right. And then there's a lot of sugar in the tomato ketchup. So people actually think mustard is healthy, like a healthy condiment, but it's not. It's not. Of all the sodium. All the sodium. So what and is, we retain water the more sodium that we consume. And what is so bad about sodium? Sodium just bloats us. We need a certain amount of sodium in our system to do certain functions on a cellular level. Okay. But as Americans and as people in general, we just tend to overdo it with sodium. Okay. And then it will bloat us and it will do other things. And then even if you have heart issues, it can cause a lot of side effects really? as well. So oh, okay. you have to be careful. Okay. Yeah. But so there's the turkey legs. There's the turkey legs. And those are grilled. I couldn't imagine that they would be too bad, like I said, once we got past the skin. So if you just peel the skin off a turkey leg, you get pure protein. Pure protein. And no carbs. No carbs. And it's pretty filling if you eat that whole thing. You think you can do it, Taylor? I think I could try it. <laughs> Let's do it.